I got broads in Atlanta, Switch to the in the family, credit cards in the scammers, hitting the licks in the family. What's up, guys? This is Decoding on TV, and um, we're back. It's been a minute since I've uploaded a video or anything due to transitioning back into school. I got a whole new rigorous. Uh, schedule due to ROTC and stuff, me trying to become an officer and all that. But, um, we're back. I'm kind of using this. We're about to add a new topic to the channel uh, called Talks with Talks with Me, basically, or Talks with D. Coley on TV, whatever name I come up with. But, um, these talks are basically going to be about stuff that's on my mind that I want to get off because I really don't have too much have people to talk to. Uh, and, you know, the main thing, the main big topic right now is relationships and love life and things that cause stress and basically how to deal with them maybe or talking about them and getting feedback from you guys in the comment section on how to go about things or, you know, situations that I might talk about. But, um... About to kind of get not too deep, but basically talking about my life. Basically, I'm talking to you guys about my life and the problems that I feel like I have, and how should I approach it or how should I look at things or stuff like that. So, um, I'm not going to get to it that far. I forgot to start the timer to figure out how long this video is going to be, but it's okay. Um, so, relationships. Like, I feel like my love life has been. Not all over the place, but up and down. Like, I didn't understand that you're going to go through a lot of problems and stuff through life. And they're really just there for your, you to learn from them and build from them. God gives you obstacles that you're supposed to uh, conquer and accomplish. But um, I just feel like, like, throughout my life, I understand that I'm not perfect. Nobody's ever perfect. But throughout my life, I done learned to grow from where I learn to grow from my mistakes and better myself for the future that's why I take certain precautions and I take steps to better my life like me in the army me <clears throat> trying to become an officer and stuff so kind of fast forward through it I guess I'm at the point in my life where I'm still young but and I understand that I have time, but life is too short Just to put that out there. But yeah, and I'm at the point where I'm ready to like settle down, but not settle down. Like have that mindset, like I'm ready to find just that one person to deal with throughout the time of my life and stuff. Because I'm going to be trying to compete to branch active duty. And... I get this a lot from my mom when I try when I talk to her and stuff about problems or about relationships and how they don't never always work out or the other person's not ready and stuff. But my mom always tells me and stuff that my mom and I got this off of a TV show I seen on Netflix where you're always not always, but you dating like young people or young minded people that are s still growing up. So it's kind of harder for them to compare to my level or meet me like 50 50 and understand what I'm going through and how I view life. But um, my mom always tells me that I'm a lot more mature than people around my age so I need to like branch out and find older people that's already experienced life and know what they want stuff like that but it's kind of hard for me doing do school and stuff because uh, I don't understand I just probably I don't know if it's probably just the area that I live in or just I just I feel like people never stick by what they say like my root my Throughout all my relationships and stuff, 
and going back on how we used to talk to each other and a lot of people want to do good by what they say but they never stick by what they say and what I mean by that is a lot of people in relationships so say if you was you start dating somebody and it's good like genuinely good like you meet their family and everything like everything is going right the family loves you like you fit right in like they vibe you good like you come off in a good vibe and you and the other person's connecting real good y'all hang out y'all fine y'all cool y'all go out and do stuff like always hanging and y'all enjoy each other's comfort and being around each other and y'all say things like or you make the other person feel real good about themselves and like they've never experienced that before like they tell you like um they tell you like uh, I've never felt this way about you about a person before because their previous relationships wasn't all that good or they other their previous relationships never really seen their full potential and stuff and then they say that they love you and that uh, I told myself that this is going to be my last and like they, they basically hype your head up and stuff but then further down the line set you up for failure and leave you looking stupid irritated sad stuff like that and I've been having that a lot I'm not saying that I haven't done stupid shit in relationships and stuff but I done came to conclusions like I done with all that like the whole one and all that and stuff so like my recent relationships and stuff I've been serious all in and showing every inch of love that I can possibly uh, to the person or in general and stuff but never been never like got it back in a way like you get it like you get it like say if a person is like one sided like you only feel their love and stuff in person but if like if you text them I mean like you you still feel they love like they love and care for you but they don't want to show it or text you a lot or appreciate it because if you really think about it most girls I'm not saying everybody's the same but most girls who are serious and like really care for you and stuff like that they're gonna be damn near blowing your phone up make sure that you're good making sure you texting them make sure you ain't now doing nothing stupid like for real people that really care for each other and stuff your only person that you really talk to is each other so it's like when you don't talk to your significant other like that you feel like lonely like dang like what's wrong or like stuff like that like you start and I have a real bad problem with overthinking overthinking things and it always is just it never works for me like I overthink a lot of stuff but I overthink it but calm myself down and like okay I guess I have trust like I don't overthink it and like go haywire and stuff as long as you have closure and you trust the person that you're with and stuff I mean overthinking is gonna be sucky because you're gonna miss in love by doing it but um, but yeah I feel like overthinking is my flaw but in a way good because I'm gonna overthink like nothing wrong with overthinking because sometimes it's needed or it's right for the moment but um alright I'm trying to figure out how to like close this out in a way but the gist of what I've been saying like there's a lot of problems with relationships in our generation nowadays where people are not ready or not mature enough in the head or right like they hype your head up like why would you like most people a lot of people say or how you should look at relationships in life if you are looking to be in a relationship with somebody you're ba basically thinking that you're basically saying that okay I want to be a relationship with you and and I see if you're being if you want to be in a relationship with them they're basically saying that you see that you can see yourself or you want to be with them for the rest of your life and stuff like that like why would you date somebody if you can't see yourself marrying them 
in the future like this is a waste of time that's a heartache some people can't keep taking uh, heartaches and heartbreaks over and over and over because people want to play with each other's emotions and stuff like, that shit is stressful it's annoying and it's a pain in the ass excuse my language like, who wants to give somebody their all only last for a couple months and then the other person's not ready. I understand it's gonna happen a lot. I know it's gonna happen a lot because there's a lot of people in this world that's not ready for a relationship. They can't, they're not ready for a commitment. They're not ready to settle down. Some people are scared of choice, like losing their choice once they choose to be with somebody. They lose their choice to pick other people and all that. But uh, that was kind of just of relationship this I really kind of want to go into a deeper but I don't want the video to be too long because I want everybody to to hear what I'm saying kind of get a feel of where I'm coming from and give me feedback in the comments below so I appreciate everybody to stop and look at this I understand we're gonna have some people on here but like get out your feelings or like blah blah this and that like we're gonna have the pros and the cons negative people and stuff I really want people to look at this not in a negative way, just a positive way, and just talk. Cause it's not a lot of people that talk nowadays. Like I need some real, like spiritual or whatever you, whatever way you come from. Is that just need some people to talk to, and give me their feedback down below. Baby might just clap it through I roll out in the morning light with that Harley